right, welcome back into the jam. It's a two night special of Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, it may only be the second week of the competition, but this season, 13 contestants and their pro partners have been doubling up their work in rehearsals, gearing up to perform not one, but two dances this week. Not one, but two. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far, the couples have completed their ballroom routines, and they're going to perform their Latin routines tonight. So we're going to get everybody caught up by taking a look back at last night's episode. Yeah, what did you guys think of the show overall last night? I, for one, I loved Terrell Owens and Cheryl, uh, Cheryl Burton, Cheryl Burke. Cheryl, Cheryl Burke, Burke, yeah. Cheryl Burton's one of our local friends here. Cheryl Burke. I thought this thing was like, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It was like watching softcore porno. I mean, it was... <laughs> It was crazy, wasn't it? Like, it got really intense. I don't know if I should be saying that. I might get in trouble with the bosses, but call it what it was. I mean, shirts, clothes were getting ripped off. There's some gyration on the floor, some thrusting. T.O. got it in, man. He represented for the tall athletes. I'll tell you what, being a tall guy, there's nothing more difficult than dancing with somebody shorter than you and still perfectly choreographing the whole thing. I was impressed. So what did, did you feel it? Like when they when they opened up the dance, I kind of was like, whoa, I felt the heat. I dimmed the lights, lit a candle. Steamy. It was steamy. <laughs> it was intense. steamy for sure. I thought, he, but I thought he nailed it perfectly. Now the judges were on him because they said it's supposed to be elegant, it's supposed to be this. <laughs> But, and they no called it brown. raunchy, but I thought it was very sexy. I thought they it was. Called it raunchy. I thought it was sexy dancing. Hmm. The, the, the one guy, the middle guy, who's old, and I, I, don't <laughs> I thought it was good though. I loved it. All right. So Hello. my favorite was Lindsay Sterling and her pro Mark Ballas, and I just loved. You know, I love drama, and they transformed. <laughs> the they transformed their outfits when they they went through this whole thing as a butterfly. Which one's a celebrity? So they ended up going into a cocoon, the and woman. that's how you know it's a good couple when you can't tell who's the celebrity and who's the professional. Well, she just doesn't have a name, Felicia. So that's what <laughs> well, we could say that about a lot of the ones on here. Danielle and I were just talking about that. Like this year's roster of celebrities aren't like super duper huge names. Yeah, I've had to look I up wonder a why, lot of I people. wonder why that is. I wonder if it's because really famous people aren't trying to put themselves out there like that because there's nothing more intimidating than They're dancing probably in public. Working. That's <laughs> or they got gigs <laughs> or they got jobs. That's They're getting the their shmoney. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I love those costumes. Well, unfortunately, someone had to say a good and it was Shark Tank's Barbara Cochran. She did have to Corcoran. say goodbye. Did, yeah. I say, did I say her name right? Corcoran? Yeah, Corcoran, yeah the Shark Corcoran. Tank okay. She had to uh, say lady. goodbye. I felt like the Dancing with the Stars cast, the celebrities were sad to see them go. I think she's most sad because she can't grope her dance partner any longer. Oh my God. You, I mean, you guys saw that, right? Like, they, she was so handsy. Like, you, there's a lot of people talking about that on Twitter, how handsy she was with her dance partner. Right? It was one Maybe dance move that got a little that. close. But <laughs> she's no, it, fine. it was the interview afterwards. She had, like, her hand on, like, his inner thigh. It was yeah. a lot going on. She's fine, though. She's going home to her millions. Yeah, she's doing she's just, she's cut. getting her shmoney. <laughs> well, you can tune how in tonight. How many times can we use shmoney? I love it. Just I the whole day, I'm going to use it. It's the word of the day. So you can tune in tonight to catch part two of this week and see the stars dance their Latin routine. Krista, what's going on? What are people saying online about last night's episode? Yeah, we want to see you salsa. Yeah, it's only week two and people are already impressed with these stars out of the gate. There's my salsa, Jordan. <laughs> the biggest buzz is that Ballas is back. Lindsay Sterling and Mark Ballas, hashtag Team Stark, was all over. Check this tweet. Mark will be nominated for and win an Emmy for his choreographer with Lindsay, and that's the T. You heard it here first. Jordan Fisher and Lindsay Arnold are feeling the love too with the hashtag Team Fish upon a star. How cute is that? Ron tweeted, my nine-year-old after seeing Jordan Fisher on hashtag DWTS, does he have a girlfriend? Me, girl, I saw him first, back off. You guys have some good taste, but let us know who you pick, who you think is dominating the dance floor on our social media at The Jam TV Show.